Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh As much as um, you expect this video will be about fun video But yeah, we will discuss about uh, case study 2 uh, in HR You can refer in the case study compilation So, I am Nur Amalina Binti Ibrahim from bc 4 And these are my teammates Please introduce yourself uh, my name is Nosara Dati Binti Hasnal My name is Nurma Sinta Binti Zulikli And I am Asfa Adia Binti Hansi Okay, so basically we will discuss the questions regarding this case study So case study 2 is about um, uh, related to human resource planning topic And it's about Donor Current Incorporation Which is also known as Donor Current New York, DKNY So during 1997, Donor Current uh, went through a major downsizing and restructuring in their organization so this case study uh, basically is about uh, consists of conversation between Don, uh, DKNY HR vice president and the interviewer so we will get on to the questions right away Alright, so I will get on to the very first question which is how was the restructuring and downsizing process different for Donna Karen than for other firms? Alright, uh, before I discuss on what are the differences in Donna Karen's downsizing and restructuring process what are actually meant by downsizing and restructuring? Alright, downsizing can be defined as the plan and nation of jobs and also refers to activities undertaken by management to improve the efficiency, productivity and competitiveness of the organization by reducing the works the workforce size. For example, when a manager saw that the company sales had fallen, the company undertook a number of your efforts to identify what they call as smart cost reduction uh, using uh, using total quality management activities which help the company target quality problems and save an estimated certain amount such as 30 million dollars but the cuts were not enough and ultimately President of the firm and Vice President of HR and Quality realized the company needed to eliminate some jobs instead of simply laying off people. However, the company started early retirement and sweetened voluntary separation program. <coughs> Meanwhile, restructuring is the corporate management term for the act of reorganizing the legal ownership, the legal ownership, operational and other structures of a company, <coughs> for the purpose of making it more profitable or better organized uh, for its present needs. Alternate reasons for restructuring include a change of ownership or ownership structure, the merger, um, or a response to a crisis or major change in the business such as bankruptcy, repositioning or buyout. Restructuring may also be described as corporate restructuring, debt restructuring and financial restructuring. So that's what it meant by uh, downsizing and restructuring. <coughs> now, in Donna Karen International Incorporation or also known as Donna Karen New York DKNY, just restructuring and downsizing process started when they experienced a disappointing profit and I would like to highlight the disappointing profit part before getting on their major restructuring and downsizing process DKNY does not in a dire financial position or experiencing acute loss for a period of time now, to explain more on this point, we can refer to the recent Malaysia Airlines restructuring and downsizing that occurred 
due due to the company's continuous losses since 2008. Now that's a very big difference with DKNY. Back to DKNY, their restructuring and downsizing process <coughs> uh, was to reposition the company for growth rather than um, retrenchment. Furthermore, DKNY's restructuring and downsizing process generally involves on selling a proportions, a portions of the company's business to other uh, to other investors, give license of their business to other companies, reorganizing the structure in the company. I mean, of the company. Um, revising the company's core operating group's functions and operating costs and the most important part is redu redu reducing costs and unlike the typical downsizing which involves uh, cutting targeted percentage in each division the can wise down downsizing was driven by actual restructuring within divisions as an effort to increase efficiency and save costs. DKNY had reduced the number of divisions from 13 to 6 and made each of the 6 divisions fully integrated operating units. Uh, DKNY's downsizing approach was what made it different from typical downsizing. Uh, in addition, DKNY restructure by giving other companies their business license. For example, the ST Lauder Companies Incorporated held DKNY's uh, beauty license, beauty business license. So, um, they actually restructuring their company by uh, leasing out their license for other companies. So in, in other way, it save cost, it reduce cost, their operating cost. <coughs> um, other than that, DKNY jeans wear and active wear products uh, license were held by were held by Liz Claiborne Company and DKNY Kids to Esprit Corporations. So I'm sure you are well, you are aware of Esprit. Brand. <coughs> so to illustrate the differences in DKNY's restructuring and downsizing process, I will refer back again to Malaysia Airlines um, recent restructuring and downsizing process again. After taken over by Kazana Negara, uh, I mean I'm sorry, Kazana Nasional, the airline company had laid off approximately six thousand workers. Other than that, the employees, uh, other than the employees' retrenchment, Malaysia Airlines also cut unprofitable routes and put new senior management in place. Uh, recently, they just cut uh, the to Amsterdam routes, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> um, all the key reforms applied in the company was to save the company from further losses and worse getting bankrupt. So uh, it is a fundamental of effort to save the company from dire financial uh, position uh, first, not going, not uh, trying to assist the company to grow stronger. So based, uh, based on my earlier explanation, I hope I have answered the end simultaneously helping you understand how was the restructuring and downsizing process for Dana Karan is different for is different than the other firms. <coughs> so um, that's all by me. Thank you and my friend we answer the next question. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to all. So here I am. We will be discussing on question number two to study two. So my question are on how are survivors, how are the survivors affected by downsizing? So when they refer to the survivors of this case, the survivors are the employee 
who is lucky enough to stay in the corporation or when they carry New York. So, downsizing means a method used by a company to reduce the cost of production. Mainly, they would cut down number of employees to reduce the cost. So, what are some what are Donna Car New York's do that the employee who get to stay need to survive? So basically, in my end, this question I would be discussing on what the survivors are affected by the downsizing in Donna Car New York. So basically, the survivors of Donna Car New York. When we talk about downsizing, uh, we will be discussing on three major groups of people. Who will be affected by this situation? First of all, we, uh, the person who will be affected by this situation, or the person who has to go, the person who has who got to stay, and the person who has to deliver the meal. The person who has to go means the employee, the employee who has to sacrifice their work to reduce the cost of production. Second, the person who got to stay are the employee who are lucky enough. To save the position, but they have to do multiple or more works to to reduce the cost of production of the company. While the the person who has to deliver the new means, the management or the the upper officers who has the responsibilities to change the situation in the company. So in this case of the current New York survivors, they need. And deserve timely information about the purpose and progress of downsizing, meaning that the the employee or the workers have a right to know about the purpose of downsizing and the progress of downsizing. On basically, they need to know on um how many numbers of employee have to be cut down, and who get to stay and who is about to uh let go and. And they also need inform uh updates and information on this downsiz downsizing so that they know where they are going and they know um they know what they need to do if they are let go and what they need to do if they got to stay. So communication is a two way process for the staff in general and the survivors as specific term that doing statement of the task duties and responsibilities of a job to be performed in the organization and they impacted will come from all levels of people. Due to this downsizing, Donna Carey New York employees are affected by all levels of people. Therefore, the management or the HR need to inform all the worker on the, the new tasks or the new duties and responsibilities the survivors have to do. So that's what they do. That's what Donna Karen New York did to the employee. So that is how they are affected because they have to do um, more tasks, duties and responsibilities uh, to save the cost of the cost of production. When DKNY appointed the new CEO, the new CEO with the management team trying to determine what the new structure would look like trying to compile all the pertinent information for those employees who will be affected, coordinating all placement services, and trying to coach management through the process. In the end, the company needs to become the expert of the life. So basically, how the, how the survivors are affected due to this downsizing is that they have to manage more work time, they have to do more responsibility duties and tasks, and they have to adapt to the new management, new uh, structure of the company and strategy and policy of the company. The dollar current survivors are affected in many ways, especially due to this downsizing. They have to see uh, they are uh, they are emotionally or morally affected because they ought to see their friends or their co-workers uh, to be cut down due to, due to this process and they have to adapt to new changes they have to bear more duties, tasks and responsibilities to align with this uh, with the, uh, align with the production of the only current company and in the same time have to reduce the cost of production and they have to 
they have to work more time and they have to adapt themselves to the new structure of the company goals and focus and due to that uh, Donny Karen have to bear in mind that the survivors of the companies are the backbone of Donny Karen New York Corporation as they are the talented people who ought to save and save the company. So that's all from me. So uh, let's move on to the next question. Okay, now let's move to the last question. What have been the major challenges of the HR department at Donna Karen DKNY? The consequences of restructuring process in DKNY brings to new challenges such as the employee population is dealing with the shock of losing co-workers, uh, the stress of handling more responsibilities and uh, the uncertainty of their own job security. Firstly, the shock of losing co-workers will lead to uh, inefficiency of the company because uh, there are only a few uh, employees left in the department. So the employee will suffer loss as uh, their company lose uh, employees with knowledge, skill and abilities uh, to run the department uh, eff efficiently. The second challenge, challenge is stress of handling um, more responsibilities. Uh, the remaining employees will have to perform multitasking jobs as they have to cover uh, the tasks that being left out uh, by the co-workers in order to achieve company objective uh, and sales target. Therefore, the HR department need to train the employees so that uh, they have the skills needed to perform the multitasking jobs. Uh, okay, thank you Masita for your answer. Now proceed with the last challenge of the HR department at DKNY, which is uncertainty of their own job security. During restructuring period, HR department is required to maintain employees' morale. As employees see their colleagues leaving the company, they may need uh, more attention and assurance about the security of their jobs. When dealing with the restructuring process, the company eliminates many jobs because of the decision license various product. This was a fairly new direction for the company. But the company can counter the challenges by using human resource planning, HRP, which can be a powerful tool to DKY. According to Snails and Bolander, HRP is the process of anticipating and making provision for the movement of people into, within, and out of organizations. The purpose of HRP is to utilize these resources effectively in order to achieve organization's goals. Other, purpo other purposes include anticipating labor shortage and surplus, providing employment opportunity for women, minorities, and disabled, and lastly, develop training programs for employees. So that's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, that's all from us. If you have any inquiries, do comment on the comment section below or reach us directly. So we hope you understand case study too. Thank you from us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.